Hi everyone, Pradeep here from TGT and welcome to another video. Today Apple released iOS 15 to the public. So if you have any of these devices, iOS 15 is now available for you. Along with iOS 15, Apple also released iPadOS 15, Apple TV OS 15, WatchOS 8, HomePod OS 15 as well. But let's focus on iOS. This update came in around 5.26 GB on this iPhone 12 mini. I was on iOS 14.8 previously. Apart from this, I have also updated my other devices to the latest OS. I will discuss about those as well. Before the update, the available storage space in this device was 18.62 GB. Do check for your storage before you update because I have seen numerous comments where the update failed just because of the storage issue. Also, before you update, you should backup your iPhone via iCloud backup or via computer. Let's have a look at the new build number. As you can see here, the new build number is 19A346. After the update, the available storage is now 17.76 GB. And as you can see, there is a modem firmware update as well. So expect better network connectivity. Now let's talk about the major new features in iOS 15. But remember, if you have a iPhone 6S or iPhone 7 or 8, you may not get all the features. First, FaceTime. Spatial audio is now available on group FaceTime calls, which makes people's voices sound like they're coming from the direction in which they're positioned on the screen. This is available for iPhone XS, iPhone XS Max, and iPhone XR or later. Voice isolation blocks background noises and wide spectrum brings all background noises into your call. Portrait mode blurs your background and puts the focus on you. Grid view displays up to six people at a time in a group face call and highlights the current speaker. FaceTime links allow you to invite friends into a FaceTime call. Even friends on Android and Windows devices can join now. A lot has changed in Messages app Shared with you shows content in conversations in a new section in Photos, Safari, Apple News, Apple Music, Apple Podcasts, or the Apple TV app. Pinned content elevates the shared content you choose and makes it more prominent. Multiple photos sent in messages are displayed as a collage or a swipeable stack. In India, you get notifications option for unknown senders, transactions, and promotions. Also, you get over 40 Memoji outfit choices. Now let's talk about the focus feature. Focus lets you automatically filter notifications based on what you are currently doing, such as fitness, sleep, gaming, reading, driving, work, or personal time. Focus uses on-device intelligence during setup and suggest app and people you want to allow notifications from. Notifications has been redesigned as well. A new look displays contact photos for people and larger icons for apps. Notification summary delivers a helpful collection of your notifications daily based on a schedule you set. Notifications can be muted from any app or messaging thread for the next hour or, or for the entire day. Maps has a lot new to offer. Detailed city maps, displays, elevation, trees, buildings, landmarks, crossing, and 3D view to navigate complex interchanges in some selected cities. New driving feature includes a new map that highlights details like traffic and incidents and a route planner that lets you view your upcoming journey by choosing a future departure or arrival time, not available in India yet. Updated public transport experience provide one-tap access to departures near you. Interactive 3D globe shows enhanced details for mountain ranges, deserts, forests, oceans, and more. The Safari browser has changed completely. Address bar is at the bottom now and help you move between tabs by swiping left to right. If you do not like this, you can change it back to the top from settings. Tab groups help you save and organize your tabs and easily access them between devices. Tab read view displays all your open tabs at once. 
Start page can be customized with a background image and new settings like privacy report, Siri suggestions and shared with you. Web extensions on iOS help you personalize your browsing and can be downloaded through the App Store. Voice search lets you search web using the voice. In the Apple Wallet app, home keys let you tap to unlock a supported home or flat door lock. This is available for iPhone XS, XS Max and iPhone XR or later. Hotel keys and office keys allow you to tap to unlock your room at participating hotels and offices. Remote keyless entry functions on your car keys allow you to lock, unlock your car and more. One of the most interesting feature is live text. Live text makes text interactive in your photos so you can copy and paste, look up and translate in photos, screenshot, quick look, safari and camera. Data detectors for live text recognize phone numbers, email address, dates, street address and more. Live text is available from the keyboard letting you insert text directly from the camera viewfinder to any text field. Photos, new look for memories with a new interactive interface, animated cards with smart adaptive tiles, new animations and transition style and multiple image collages. Apple Music can be added to your memories for Apple Music subscribers. Memory mixes lets you set the mood by selecting from different songs and a memory look to match. New memory type includes additional international holidays, child focus memories, etc. InfoPen can now display rich information about the photo like which camera and which lens was used, shutter speed, file size and more. In the Apple Health app, sharing lets you choose health data, alerts and trends to share with people who are important to you. Trends lets you see how a given health matrix is progressing over time. Walking steadiness is a new metric that can access your risk of falling and notify you if your walking steadiness is low. This is available for iPhone 8 and later. Apple also updated the weather app. A new design shows the most important weather information for the location and includes new map modules. Weather maps can be viewed in full screen and so precipitation, temperature, air quality in supported countries. New animated backgrounds more accurately represent the sun position, clouds and precipitation. Mail privacy protection protects your privacy by preventing email senders from learning about your mail activity, your IP address or whether you are opened their emails or not. Safari intelligent tracking prevention now also prevents known trackers from profiling you by seeing your IP address. With iOS 15, Apple introduces iCloud Plus. It is a cloud subscription service that gives you premium features and additional iCloud storage. Some accessibility features such as image exploration with voiceover, voiceover image descriptions, par app settings to allow you to customize display and text size, sound actions for switch control and new voice control languages including mainland Chinese, Cantonese, French and German languages has been added. Apart from this, there are a lot of other features and improvements as well, such as special audio with dynamic head tracking in Apple Music brings an even more immersive experience to Dolby Atmos Music with AirPods Pro and AirPods Max. System-wide translation lets you select text through the system and translate it with a tap even in photos. New widgets include Find My, Contacts, App Store, Sleep, Game Center and Mail. Apple ID account recovery contacts lets you choose one or more people you trust to help you reset your password and regain access to your account. Temporary iCloud storage grants you as much iCloud storage you need to create a temporary backup of your data free of charge for up to three weeks when you buy a new device. Find my separation alerts notify you if you leave a supported device or item behind and find my will give you directions to your item as well. The new app store widget gets you stories and new safari extensions. And there is a huge update for India as UPI QR codes can now be scanned using the camera app directly to enable UPI payment apps securely. Your iPhone now remains findable even after the power off as well.
That's a huge feature in case you have lost your iPhone or your iPhone has been stolen. Performance wise iOS 15 is super smooth in this iPhone 12 mini. The device is running a lot more quicker and snappier as well. App opening and closing feels faster to me. The battery life well after using it as my main device for the last one year the battery health is 95% and with that I get around 6 to 7 hours of screen on time which is really good for a mini device and iOS 15 should be better. Just after you update if you see that your phone is getting hot or running a bit slow or the battery is draining a bit quicker don't panic. Just after such a huge update, your phone might be indexing at that time. So a lot of background activities run simultaneously. So give it a few hours or day and your device should be good. Apart from that, I have also updated my iPhone 6s, iPhone 7 and iPhone XR to iOS 15 as well. iPhone XR runs absolutely fine and almost all the features that I mentioned above are available in iPhone XR. It's running without any issues and I haven't noticed any lags at all. If you want to know how the iPhone XR performs with iOS 15s in details, I have a separate video for that. Link is there in the description box. Now for the iPhone 7, the story is a bit different. Not all the features of iOS 15 are available for iPhone 7. The battery life is so-so because this device is quite old now and the app opening and closing might be a bit glitchy at times. But the good thing is you can use all the apps in latest versions still including the payment and banking apps. Now iPhone 6s is another step back from the iPhone 7 and I have found out iOS 15 generates a bit of heat if you use it continuously. I also have a dedicated video about iOS 15 using iPhone 6s. Do check that out after this one. If you are interested about the benchmark scores, here it is for the iPhone 12 mini. It's 1593 for the single core and 4046 for the multi core, which is quite at par. I would like to know your experience about iOS 15 in the comment section below. Do like, share, and please don't forget to subscribe to TGT. I'll see you in my next one. Peace.